Well, hello. It is me again. I'm not even in the video. It is us again this time, actually. It is both of us this time. And I have an important update about the nursery. My very first video on this channel, I was talking about my hopes and dreams of having this beautiful wood elf nursery. And I went through all these uh, things on Etsy that I thought <coughs> were really cute tapestries and they were all wallpapers. And my husband was like, hey, those are all wallpapers. We can't pick any of those. Oh, you are so you are really so then I had to completely um, get rid of all, all those uh, bookmarks that I had, which was, I don't know, 12 of them. 12. And whatever, a lot. Okay. It was like 30. And I probably bored the crap out of some people um, with me trying to figure that out. But now um, we went through again and uh, we're trying to decide which actual tapestries that we should buy um, from Etsy. We might actually buy more than one because it turns out that the tapestries are really cheap. This one, for example, I really, really like this one. I was like, it's only $16. How awesome is that? We could like go crazy. It's peel and stick. Okay, I didn't click the drop down menu, it's apparently um, a lot more expensive than that. And which one do you figure we'd probably, yeah, it's probably actually $160. So that was the case with pretty much all the wallpapers. Probably a way better idea to get one of these tapestries that are actual tapestries that you just hang on the wall. For a third of the price. So that's why we're thinking maybe we can even get a couple of them. We just have to measure the wall and we also have to figure out which one we want. We have this one that definitely goes with this one. Like we can get both of these. And the next one I think is awesome. awesome. All three of those could go together. This one is a little bit different than what I was thinking. I uh, didn't want like humanoid, human structures in the in, in the room because I wanted it to be more like like you're in a magical forest but it is a little girl's room so this one's like kind of calling my name also and then he I really like, likes yeah, like this, this one. one looks like a van gogh that goes with that and that one looks like a tattoo we are the ones that have to like it at first but she's the one that's gonna have to like it too eventually for the long run these Three, although they're really cool. Yes, I hear a hesitation. Might just be too dark. Well, this one's really Look, nice. so what happened yesterday is that she had 70 tabs open. I did. And then we narrowed it down to 25. And then we narrowed it down to like 12. <sighs> and because what happened was that it was like, which ones do we really like? And then we were like, okay, which ones work for like a kid's room and don't look too adult. Then it became, all right, of what we have left over, what's going to look good in the morning and at night? And then it became, can you look at this one for hours and hours and hours at a time without getting sick of it? The one that I could look at the most without getting sick of it, like in a room where I'm not doing anything really, is probably this one. Right? Like there's a lot going on there. I kind of was recommended these other ones while seriously thinking about this one. Now I'm thinking we do this one and maybe these two as well. And that room is gonna be pretty lit. You know, if she moves to a different room because we have more kids, she could move with the, the tapestries or like if we move, you know, she can move with the tapestries as well. Okay, we've figured out some stuff. Okay, basically what we're looking at now is that the outlets go 16 feet from, 16 inches from the, uh, from the floor to the outlet, right? And so then we don't want to cover the outlets, so we're not going to get the largest ones of everything. We're actually going to get the second to largest ones of everything, except for they didn't have this one in the size we were looking for, so we're going to have to settle for this one being smaller. The good thing about this is that now we're, we're going to have access to the outlets and it's going to be about half the price. We're looking at more like 137, basically probably 140 something with tax. I think with shipping. Yeah. Hello, tapestries just got here. Wanted to just do a little unboxing. 
It's a very gloomy day today, fall, almost fall, last days of summer. Very exciting. Okay, hopefully these tapestries look like they do in the pictures. Looks cool. It's a little bit less HD than the photos would have it lead you to believe. It's a lot lighter than um, in the pictures, but on camera it looks more contrasty and maybe that's just my camera. I would say I'm pretty happy with the tapestries. They look cool. I think they'll look cool hung up, but I won't leave my final opinion of them till I see them hanging up. They look lighter than the pictures, but still really cool. Cool artwork. I would have loved that when I was a kid, so we'll see. All right, so we're gonna hang up the tapestries. We bought these little, I don't even know what you would call these, but they are- Magnetic thumbtacks. They're, they're like a tack that you stick in the wall and they've got this uh, little magnet. It's extremely magnetic. So we're gonna try and hang up the first one by stretching it along this wall and pinning it in and kind of tightening it as we go. We'll see what happens. And we bought a seamer. I tried to wash and dry the, uh, the tapestries and uh, they were still wrinkled. They're apparently made out of polyester, which I might be allergic to, so. <laughs> Awesome, right guys? Isn't that cool? Um, so it's not that wrinkled, but I would just give it a little steam over. All right, so this is it. These are the tapestries. I have completely steamed them out, I think, I hope. If not, I could just, you know, do a little dab dab if I see anything extra after this. But yeah, this is the new tapestry that came back that absolutely has no damages or weird white strings in it like the other one did. Looks super cool, the other one. And yeah, up as you can see, <laughs> the room's changed quite a lot since we started, changed the floor in the process of working on the crib, got some furniture in here. We are moving right along and follow us for more on this nursery journey. The crib has been quite an adventure, so definitely stay tuned for that. So now I am also in my third trimester. When I started this, I was in my second trimester, and I am really starting to feel it. Currently 28, almost 29 weeks, and it is actually fall. So you can tell I'm all bundled up. But yeah, I really thought that these tapestries came out really cool. I'm very happy with them. I think it is totally worth the money. Um, just so you guys could see, these little things are cool. Those are the magnet things that we use. And you can like, you can honestly barely see them. So that's awesome. So I wanna know what you guys think. Which tapestries would you have chosen? I think we made a good choice. How do you think it's going? And also I apologize for the mess as we are still building furniture in here, putting it all together and it should look really awesome by the end. So keep watching, stay tuned and follow us for more. Bye bye. Bye bye Weeby, bye bye.